Similarly, you can write delete and put. Um, for example, put will actually get first and then um, then do the um, uh, then do the saving. You know, updating and saving. Uh, let's uh, try that, or we can try delete. Delete also will check if other uh, dependencies are not there. Based on no other dependencies, uh, it actually tries to delete. In our database, we could see that we can't really delete a user if there is an article associated with it. There is a conflict. So either you can check it at the database level uh, by, you know, you can try to delete it and it might throw a database exception and then you can tell it to now you can return the response saying you know you can't delete because there are articles for this user or you can always say that you know uh, please delete the article uh, before you delete the user or the other way is to actually uh, you could if if the api wants it you can also delete a user along with delete deleting his articles as a default thing so depends on how the APIs are defined, what's the requirement of the API. Uh, you can also check first here, instead of uh, depending on the database, you can actually find first if there are articles, then actually say that you can't delete it. Let's do that. Uh, let's say, uh, get username. Let's say, check if the user exists first okay then check if there are articles of for this user if yes throw error if no dependency then delete in this case we won't be returning anything we just will be returning empty and what could be the status message you can check here go to delete if everything goes well we'll return 200 right so you could do i mean i don't think they have defined error messages uh, here um, but it, it, if they have defined, then you could throw. But I'm I'm going to define one and throw. Most probably, in your, if you are running an assignment or actually getting a real documentation, you would have got that also. So you can check if the user exists, which is same as this call, right? If there's no user, then you can throw the same error, right? It's straightforward that way. Okay, that is first step just a repetition now the second thing is we want to check if there are articles for this user that's just a query on the articles table uh, right i will let me just uh, paste that for you so that it's easy so i'm just going to get all the articles for this user article.query.filter you could use db.session article that also or you can query this way both ways are valid i have to import this article from model okay if articles and zero you know just check in then throw an arrow right i just want to throw an arrow like a business arrow let's say it is b1005 can't delete users as there are articles written by this user 
in this case it could be like that or it could be that you know you might want to write a transaction where you delete the articles first of this user and then delete uh, the user but here i'm just going to go in a safe way where i don't want to delete anything uh, you know i just want to warn the user that you're going to try delete you're trying to delete a user who has articles so i'm not allowing you to delete it so if there's no dependency then comes the delete we can just check how do we delete uh, by going to a flask SQL alchemy just check delete it's just removing from the session and deleting removing from the session and deleting uh, so we can just do okay I'm just going to delete the user then commit it so this is again very simple a way of deleting the user uh, if there are no dependencies and there could be more and more conditions you could have many things uh, to check here but this is the most simplest so let's check for this condition i think uh, for example uh, user one has articles so if I try to delete him, delete that, you should, it should say that you can't delete. You can say try it, okay. execute, oh, type error, fail to fetch. Let's start again. There was an error. In the previous one, I shut down the server. So usually just check when you're changing uh, just check whether the server has restarted if not just restart it okay wait execute it's trying to run it's throwing some error object of type json oh I'm trying to return the user if there is valid here and I don't have to do that. Basically, I just copy pasted. Okay. So then I'll raise an error. If not, I do this. Uh, if there's no dependency, then delete. right uh, okay okay now this should work because i think i had a bug here because i had copy pasted it okay let's go here and try to execute again Still throwing internal server error. Base query has no length. So this is not required. Okay, there you go, hero. Uh, because I just have to get all or get first one of them. So I just made that change. And if at least one article exists, uh, you know, of the, by this the user, then we can't delete it. Now let's try with another user who doesn't have any articles. Uh, there are users large five who doesn't have any articles. So let's do, delete large five. Okay. Let's go to here, large file, execute, got deleted, return 200. Let's see here, I refresh this, large file is gone. That's all actually, is our simple delete functionality by API. 
can similarly do put i'm just going to leave that for for your experimentation but in case of put you're going to return the object again so you might want to use marshal uh, output and marshaling the output and then return the whole object uh, in case of put as well you have to check whether there is a user first uh, then get the user update the user and then return the value so that's how you write put uh, we can let me just uh, write it anyway similarly i'm going to copy paste again right and then we don't need to get anything we just need to uh, check our whether the user has sent us the values in this case we have written now uh, create user parser we'll just write a update user parser it will just have uh, email update right we are not going to update the username so this will be update update right so i'm going to use this to pass our in input so let's uh, even before we go there we let's check here um parse this value similar to how we have done here right so i'm just going to copy here so i'm not going to get username this is not create user this is update user right update user parser now if email is valid uh, and then do the other checkings we'll have to do that again here let's do that which is similar to our post so I, again i'm going to copy paste right so email is none uh, then it will throw an error because it needs valid email uh, again valid email but there's one more condition here so if there is already a user with the same email id we don't want uh, we don't want to update it so we want to check whether there's another user with the same email id so let's just check that if we can find another user with user dot email is equal to email then you know it will become a duplicate user uh, if user then we'll throw an error right we don't want uh, uh, to use the same email id right i don't think we have an error code defined for that we can just do five but this is we can do it as six and just say uh, duplicate email okay and if if then let's continue after that um, we'll check whether that this specific user by this username exists if not, we'll throw an error, right? This will be dot first, correct? And we'll check if this user exists. If not, we'll throw an error. If everything is okay, we will do user model update, user dot email is equal to email passed and then the rest of them is same you know um, let's just confirm you know updating the record inserting querying deleting inserting and updating are same as far as i know let's just add that user here okay which is similar to this and this user and then commit but here we're going to return the user the updated user hence we're going to marshal it right and similar output
right so let's stop and restart see if there is any errors seems to be no error okay let's go back to our port. so it takes one email let me try it out username let me just try and use an uh, email that uh, is given here uh, tgsgn okay let's write that let's not give an email let's see if it throws an error okay it throws an error. email is required then let's give an existing email of some other user same user doesn't matter right okay it should throw an error that uh, duplicate email right duplicate email through an error duplicate email now if we put an non-existing user like page is one two three it should throw an error there too you know uh, it's throwing anyway duplicate email but regardless if we give a valid email to let's say I was giving Tejish GN123 for this user but this user doesn't exist even though this is unique and valid email so choose not found this user is not found so which is the error that we had expected here it is you know requested resources not found now the last validation that we want to check is we want to update if everything goes well right so now what we can do is we can just update this tejish gn with you know tejish gn dot example dot com this is a valid user a valid email id also unique email id not used by anyone so now let's if i execute it should run and return the response which is an updated response you can see that it's written by user id username as tejishgn email as tejishgn at example dot com let's just check in the database if i refresh by doing control 5 or control r uh, you can see that the email has been updated so you can do much more you know validation or in a different way but this is how you generally write and this is a simpler way of writing it uh, of course you can you can add more customization more custom validators uh, or different type of error if you ever use some of those errors um, it's not defined extra uh, you know ideally i would stick to you know what they've sent usually the documentation will be full uh, complete this documentation is not complete because not all the errors are mentioned here uh, usually all the errors will be mentioned and all the cases will be mentioned so it's crystal clear as to what to implement uh, that's all actually um, you know for the rest of the tables i will leave it to you how to implement for example how to insert all of the cred into articles or send authors as part of articles so that you can insert into article authors etc etc you can probably first write the documentation for yourself get it validated by your one of your peer or one of your course instructor and then try it out uh, to implement uh, yourself just as an experiment uh, that's all from me today uh, thank you so much uh, bye